right, and here's the video review for Titan's Return Deluxe Hardhead with Furos. Uh, Duros was his name in the original G1 series. They, you know, they've had to change some of the names. I don't know why they had to change Duros, but um, yeah, so it's Hardhead with Furos, um, out according to his instruction sheet. Um, he does come with a little fold-out instruction sheet as well as the bio card there with the uh, stats on the back if you're curious about those. Looks like 20 is the max now versus 10. But yeah, he's a little tank and like I said uh, with Skull Smasher's video, I think he and Skull Smasher are my favorite of two of this first wave of deluxes. He's a cool little tank, he's got a very neat transformation and uh, here he is, I left his gun over here, I'm gonna grab that. So yeah, not a whole lot of articulation in tank mode. He does have four little wheels. Or actually, that's that's one piece, but it's like six wheels. And then two back here. So he can roll pretty well. Um, and his turret does rotate side to side. Now I mentioned in Skull Crunchers review that they all have a little secondary pilot weapon mode. And you can take Furos out of here, out of this cockpit. And you can take the turret fold this up onto the back here and then he can sit in this cannon can lift his arms up a little bit so you can have him sit there and then plug the gun onto the top here and that works as both in vehicle mode he's piloting the cannon and this can come off and you can have like a larger character hold that or attach it to Prime in base mode or Blaster in base mode. You can use it with any of the base mode characters. Fort Max uh, as extra weaponry, which is kind of cool. I, I love the cross functionality between the various sizes, um, the size classes this time around. So we'll put that back together. And we'll go ahead and leave him out. There's Duros. He's green. He's got the same ball joint neck. Uh, ball joint shoulders, although again limited to the side to side motion, but can come up all the way up above their head and uh, fold up. So we'll go ahead and turn him into the head and we'll set him off to the side while we transform the body. And to transform, when we come back here, you want to untab the legs from back here. You can see there's these little green tabs in here that the legs tab onto. So untab those, flip his waist piece up. The legs come down like this, and the feet flip out like that. And then this whole assembly rotates down like this. Unteg the arms from the front here. This whole panel folds down. This folds down onto its back and tabs in back here. Does it tab in back here? Oh wait, no. Yeah, it tabs in back here on the waist. And then this whole assembly comes up and allows this cannon to sit over his shoulder. Arms come up and then they extend here at the elbow. And then there's a whole piece that flips out. It's not just the fist, there's a whole wrist piece that flips out so he still has wrist swivels, which is kind of nice. So those flip out, the arms come down, the elbows, put the cannon up, and then you just plug Furos into the top here, and again, you can look around, kind of look up and down, more up than down, really, and you can rotate the cannon out of the way, so give him full range of movement. You can turn our heads 360, which is nice. Not that you really need to do that that often. Put his cannon in, you can hold his rifle, and there he is. Nice, solid. A good update to Hardhead, smaller than the original. Um, but yeah, so you've got the, the ball joint there at the neck, uh, ball joints here at the shoulders, although due to the shape of his forearm, you can't really go out that much, although you, you do have the hinge here, so you can get him a pretty decent range out of that. But a ball joint at the shoulders, uh, a bicep swivel, and then a hinge up here as well as up here. So you've got a couple different hinges there at the elbow joint. It does have a wrist swivel. Uh, no waist swivel because this all tabs in, but he's got ball joint hips thigh swivel, and then pretty decent hinge knees, about a 90 degree angle there. 
And the feet kind of have some posability. I mean, you can bend that forward if you need to, but they don't go up any further than that. So all in all, not bad. I forgot to show off articulation on Skull Smasher, so let me do that real quick while he's sitting right here. Although it's about the same. He does have the ball joint head. So he's got some range of movement in the head. He also has ball joints there inside his shoulders with that same kind of arm transformation joint so you can get a pretty decent range of motion. He does have a waist swivel, which is nice. Now ball joint hip, thigh swivel, double hinge knees. So you can get his leg all the way back like that. And again, a little bit of articulation in the foot there for various poses. Um, he doesn't he doesn't have a wrist swivel, but the uh, that's how the bicep swivel and then the forearm does swivel on a separate piece there. So yeah, forgot to show that off in Skull Smasher's view. There you go. And quick size comparisons with him. Um, I don't have the G1 hardhead, but here he is with Make Toys, uh, not Make Toys Fans Projects, Brainstorm and Chrome Dome, Code and uh, Smart Robin. And, and the Titan Masters are a little smaller than the uh, Function X Headmasters. But just to give you an idea of how he looks with them. And then just to give you an idea of how he looks with some G1 figures, even though I don't have Hardhead himself, uh, here is Brainstorm and Chrome Dome, same two figures, but the G1 versions there with him. So a little smaller than the old school Headmasters, but, you know, roughly deluxe size. I didn't, just to give you a quick idea of how they compare with a modern figure. And here's Combiner Wars Prowl. And he's a little bigger than, than him, so slightly larger than the deluxes we have been getting recently. Not much, and a lot of that is because of the Headmaster, but just to give you an idea. So yeah, thank you again to Chosen Prime for getting these to me. But there is Deluxe Hardhead with Furos.